Hello, all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chilliam, and I just got done reading Nightwing issue 100, the big 100, done by Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor greatness. And wow, it was very, very impacting issue. You know, I loved it a lot. I, I, I don't know, you could tell if I was crying earlier. It was a very emotional chap, uh, issue. It was great. Loved every minute of it. It was cool action. Action was simple. Um, Heartless took over the prison, released all the criminals, trying to destroy Bloodhaven, trying to hurt Nightwing in the process, releasing KJ Beast, uh, Alpha Man. Um, lucky his friends came in to help on the Titans. So, uh, it was cool actually. You no, know, it was cool to see the Titans in there. I love when the Titans and Nightwing bond together. It was dope. Um, the original Titans, you know, Deanna Troy, um, Kid Flash, White West. You want to call him uh, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, all that. You can see Beast Boy lost his eye. So this all takes after Dark Crisis. It was a nice moment, you know, and seeing the different costumes of uh, Nightwing. I remember that little pages right there. That was pretty cool. Like 100 issues of Nightwing. That was dope. I read every issue. I remember it was a good long story. It was cool to see all together and doing us all for blood. Even Heartless is still out there, too. He survived. I'm not survived. Well, uh, he didn't have that one on one fight. So they still have more ideas for Heartless. That's the only thing that was kind of disappointing. I kind of wish they had that one-on-one -on -one fight, you know, before he escaped and ran away. That was the only disappointing. Like, ah, come on, make it's issue 100. Make a big fight between when, them two. This is his arch nemesis. This is Nightwing's Joker. This is Nightwing's, uh, like, uh, Superman's um, Lex, Lu uh, Luger. Lex, uh, Luther. Lex Luthor. Lex <laughs> Luthor. Um and um Batman's Joker. This is his arch nemesis. So let's get that one on one fight. But um when the Titans came, they found a mask. It says there's many ways to hurt you, Nightwing. So that's that. We're gonna see him again some out some way down the line. Um he's a guy, like I say, he's acting like Joker. He just wants to hurt him. Doesn't want I don't think he doesn't want to kill him. If he would, he probably try would kill him a long time ago. Maybe he wants his heart. Maybe he does want to kill him. He wants his heart. But We'll see what the story down the line for Heartless. But um, the one that got me the most, I want to talk to it. That's the main thing I want to talk about. What made me tear up and cry. My favorite moment in this issue was the when Batman and Nightwing talked at the cemetery. At in front of um, Alfred Alfred's painting or gravesite. And then they were talking. They, they were talking to each other. Because Nightwing, after the whole incident with the prison outbreak and... Uh, uh, Heartless and all that stuff. One of women Superman came to Nightwing's. Hey, we got an offer for you, and he offered him the seat, the head seat of the Justice League, um, to become the new leader to redo, uh, make make a new Justice League. Everything basically, he's a leader of the Justice League, and I had a feeling that was gonna happen after that crisis event. Uh, he took over. He was gonna be. Uh, he riled everyone up, fought the villains. Uh, when the Justice League was gone, Superman, Batman, and the Big Three was gone. He took over. He took, basically took the leadership right there, and that's the they heard they heard about that, so they wanted to give him the position of being the leader of the Justice League. And he thought about it and went to go ask Batman, the another member, and say, "What should I do? Should I take the leadership? Should I do this? I'm gonna need your help." Um, and Batman was talking to him, you know, it was because they never talked with each other. Uh, front of Alfred, it's the first time they both uh, visit each other, and he was a lot of things. He he, he let everything out. Batman let everything out. That's what I've been liking about the death of Pennyworth um, so far. Because even he said it when Alfred was alive, he said all the words I couldn't say. He said all the words, "Oh, I love you, Dick. Um, Bruce loves you. Don't worry. He'll tell Dick. Oh yeah, Bruce loves you. Oh he he he's proud of you. He'll say all the words that Batman couldn't say himself." When Alfred was alive, but now Alfred's dead, Batman has no one to say that for him. So he let it all of it out, and that was pretty hard. It made me tear up because he, he, like, you don't see Batman will um, recognize his emo like letting go of his emotions, letting go how he feels, or letting everything out feels. He, he, Batman's always the tough, dark, um, mean, um, kind of like not mean, but like, like I say, he's the darkness. He's darkest of night. Like I say, he's feared. That's who he is. Um, he wants his enemy to fear him. He, he pushes his friends a little more far. He doesn't keep friends so close. So when he does keep bringing someone close, when he does let people in, it's more beautiful, I think. 
if you know what I'm saying. Like when he let Selena in and he wanted to marry her and everything because he finally wants to feel love. He wants to be in love. Now he's letting his kids in. He's letting Tim in. He's letting um, Dick in and Damien. He wants to show more affection. He doesn't want to be this heartless, lone uh, soldier tonight and all, all that stuff. He doesn't want to be a lone soldier. He wants to have his family around. He wants to be alone no more. He wants to fight alone. So it was nice to him let everything out, Dick Grayson. He, I said, you know what I was saying? I said, I'm proud of you, son. I'm proud of what you become. You helped me change. You helped me not become that. And it's true. He helped. He, he, if Dick was around, all the Robins was around to make sure he doesn't get stuck in the darkness by himself. Make sure he doesn't go that hardcore route. I mean, he'll or turn out to be the Punisher or turn out to be something more evil out there. Didn't care. Like, there's no love in his life. No, they changed that. They make sure he doesn't go far. And I believe that 100%. Like, there was a, no Robin in his life. No Dick Grayson. We didn't. Bring no Robin. That's why he's the most colorful one. People say, oh, he's a distraction for the villains. Nah, he's like, he's kind of like he's light. He's When he sees Dick Grayson, that's his light. He's going to make sure when he sees him, he doesn't fall into that dark pit. He doesn't fall into the darkness, give in to the hate and killing villains and victims. I believe that. I think that's the right. I think that's what he wanted. And I know Alfred thought the same thing as well. And, and it was beautiful because then after he... Let everything out, let everything out about how he, uh, how proud he was of Dick Grayson and how proud he should be a leader of the Justice League and how much he loves him. Then Dick hugs him. He says, you never let me down. You never was a failure in my eyes. Um, you took me in. I was a boy. You didn't have to, but you took me in, gave me a life, gave me a family. And he calls him dad. And it was nice. He said, I love you, dad. And that's, I'm about to tear up right now. Shoot. Because I was very emotional. Like I said, that was a good best part of this issue like you don't see that in comics that's where i want in comics i want to see something different like i never i read tons of night wings all 100 read tons of batman comics tons i never seen this much emotional right here this bond between nightwing and dick grayson i i, I don't know you guys been part of reading comics a long time ago you see this deep bond that batman and dick with bruce and dick grayson had right now any other past comics in the 80s and 90s if anyone comment below if you guys did but I, I haven't and this was beautiful it was a beautiful moment I, that's what i wanted to see it was nice them like lay everything out and batman said i always will have your back always watch over you it was just nice to hear that words so out dick i know batman always says that yeah he, uh, he always loves him as a son and thinks of him as a son and it was nice to see dick seeing batman as a father i love you dad and it was nice. That was nice. And in front of Alfred Painting with, I know he would be proud. See, his boys all love each other. Ah, okay, got me right there. Anyways, it was beautiful. Love it. Um, the only thing I didn't like, like I said, Heartless. I uh, wish we did get a fight one-on-one -on -one with Heartless and Nightwing. And it, it makes sense. I wonder, I'm kind of confused in the part because it looks like Dick Grayson was going to take the leadership of the Justice League. But I think he's also um, going to still protect Bloodhaven. With the Titans, because he built a Titan Tower in Bloodhaven now. So he's going to do two rows. Scott, I do, uh, that's a team I wanted. Like the Titans, I wanted to be in the Justice League. I want Starfire, Cyborg. Cyborg was always a Justice League member. But Raven, Beast Boy, Deanna Troy, Wally Rest, kind of like the original Titans, Teen Titans, to be uh, the new Justice League. Because that's who they were. They were the, they were the first teams that were going to one day replace the Justice League if anything happens. That's what they were made for. They were the sidekicks of the heroes. Except for Starfire, she came in there and Raven. But they were, they were ready um, to replace them. Get like Speedy, get um, Red Arrow, um, uh, get Aqualad. They were all the original Teen Titans that were ready to replace the um, Justice League when time comes. And that, that will be pretty cool. I would love that. They do a whole new Justice League based on them. So who knows? Uh, I kind of hope the new Justice League is Nightwing and he gets his own cool squad. The own his own people. Um, he's basically the Batman squad. So you don't need a Batman. Just me will get John Kent but to be Superman. But I kind of hope we get Superboy. Um, that'd be dope. The other Superboy. Um, that's in like the, the what was that? What was that? I forgot what that show was. The cartoon. Uh, well, you know the other Superboy, the one that's half Superman, um, half Lex uh, Luthor. I can't say. I can't say Lex Luger. <laughs> Lex Luthor. But yeah. Beautiful issue. Beautiful done. I can't wait for no more Nightwing. I hope Tom Tedder's do more Nightwing because his story was awesome. Love every minute of it. He did a great 
um, Nightwing, which is amazing. Comment below what you guys think of Nightwing issue 100. What was your favorite moment? I still hoping down the line, Tom Taylor, if he is still doing Nightwing, if he marries off um, Barbara Gordon and Dick Grayson. I kind of like it. They're still together in a relationship after this. Kind of hope there's a marriage proposal. I hope there's some more moving forward Nightwing story. Uh, more new things to come. The story's still going on. He's still around. He's going to be. I don't know. That's one thing I'm confused. Like I said, he's gonna be a there's gonna be a new Justice League, or he's gonna wait on that, or he's gonna focus more on the Titans. We're gonna get more Titan comics of him in the squad. That'd be cool too. Of uh, the new Titans, Beast, um, Beast Boy, and everyone else. Be cool to get some stories of him and Titan Journey with him. Hope a good writer takes over that. If there's an, a Titan Teen Titan comics coming out or Titan comics, whatever it is, who knows? Stop mabbling now. But comment below. Give me you guys thoughts of issue 100 Nightwing. What your favorite moment of it? What you like about it? If you don't like about it, tell me what you don't like about it. And that's all. I hope you guys enjoy my video. Please hit the like button if you do. And please subscribe to my channel and to get all my comic book reviews. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Have a good day and good night. And remember, stay nerdy forever.